Hi guys! Um, it has been quite a while since I made a video, um, and there are lots of reasons for that. But yeah, this is just going to be a different kind of video than what I normally post, and I'm sorry I sound a little sick. Um, I got my flu shot, I think, three days ago, and I've been a little sick from it, which I don't usually get sick after the flu shot, but like ever since COVID, I think it's been like affecting in my immune system differently. The flu shot, like, it just made me not feel so good this year. Um, and I did have COVID in January. Um, I think I only had the Delta variant because it was literally not more than a common cold for me. It was, like, not bad at all. And I, like, was totally normal. And it only lasted for, like, five days. I know, I didn't want to say that I had COVID because I just feel like people would think poorly of me for having COVID but like literally everybody has gotten COVID so it's like and it's like not that I did anything to get COVID like I wear my mask I wash my hands I wear hand sanitizer like all that stuff like I take the precautions I'm have my vaccines like I just it's just it was so bad around like Christmas time I got it from my relatives because people at Christmas had it and they didn't know they had it so yeah anyways why I haven't been making videos. Uh, when did I post my last video? I think November. Two months ago. Oh. January? Question mark? Um, okay. So it's March, but that's not terrible. But, as you guys know, um, I am in college, and I'm a sophomore in college. I'm in college for two years. I made videos at college last year. This year, I did not. Um, I had a roommate for the first time this year, which is like one of my best friends from home. I've known her since third grade, so we're pretty close. Um, but I just wasn't, I didn't have time to be making videos while I was in school because I was focusing on my studies and also just like I was away from home and I didn't like have my dolls at school. So it was like I wasn't really making videos because there was nothing to show I guess. I could have done like college vlogs but I feel like people don't like that. I don't know. And then also having a roommate I guess it was just more awkward. Even though she knows about my videos and like she knows about the dolls everything like I brought I bring the dolls like to college sometimes like like all my friends know about it. Like I don't keep it a secret. I'm home right now obviously as you can see. The past few years probably since middle school honestly like a really long time I had been struggling with depression and anxiety and it was pretty manageable up until I would say last year and it just got so much worse. Mittens is here with me and um, things are just not so manageable anymore and I wanted to drop out of school Yeah, before I even went back for sophomore year but I didn't say anything because I thought, let's just give it another try. Yeah. So I went and literally a month into sophomore year, I was ready to drop out. I told my mom I don't want to be in school, all this stuff. And she wouldn't let me. And I kept going to school. She told me to finish the semester. So I did and it was really hard. But I did it. And then I was going to not go back for a second semester so I thought but my mom didn't think that and so she made me go back for a second semester um that was pretty brutal and then I just have been going through a lot of things uh and it just got to be so much for me I just I couldn't handle it my mental health got really bad and so last week I came home and I've been home ever since I just, I, I had to stop. I couldn't do it. We talked to my doctor. Um, I've been on medication for a month. Um, I'm starting therapy tomorrow for the first time. So I've just been working on myself and recovery. So I guess this is kind of going to be like a recovery vlog because um, now I don't like do anything. So I will have a lot more time to be making videos and painting. I've been doing a lot of painting. Um, because, yeah, I don't really do anything now that I'm not in school. I feel better already just having that stress 
lifted off of me. I'm still in the process of like withdrawing and I'm doing a leave of absence. We were we brought most of my stuff home, but there's still some things because I'm not like withdrawn from my classes yet. Um, the lady that I emailed like is taking forever to get back to me. I don't know why. So I'm waiting on her. But yeah, um, I have just been having a really rough time. And so that's another reason why I hadn't been making videos. But I am working on everything now. So I want to make more videos for you guys, but I also just want to like let you know what's going on and just keep things real. So I'm recovering, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of stay home. Not like all day, but like basically. I go out and I'll do things like I go out and I'll go to stores or I'll just like get food or something, coffee. Um, but like mostly my day consists of me being here, painting, yeah, just like living life. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be interesting, but I just thought maybe it was important to document. So, if you are interested, then stick along. I don't know how long I'm going to vlog for, but yeah, I'm pretty nervous to start therapy because I've never done it before. I've only done food therapy when I was like 12 because I have an eating disorder and I didn't like it, but my mom went with me because I was 12 and so that was fine, but now, I don't know, I've never done therapy. I'm doing it online. I kind of want it in person, but take what you can get. Therapists are hard to come by right now. So I was lucky I got in. I'm going every Wednesday at 11.45. Hey. Oh. Here's minutes. Um, this is Coco, one of my mice. I have three mice. Um, as you guys know, I had two cats. Oh, look at this Build-A-Bear frog. He's three feet tall. Yeah, my room's messy. I'm sorry. Here she is. Um, she just wants someone to pet her. But we had two cats. Um, Mittens actually just turned ten, like, last week. It was her birthday. Um, we had two cats, Mittens and Buttons, but Buttons actually passed away a month ago. Um, so that's been pretty hard on our family. Because, uh, yeah, we've had this, these cats for ten years, and she unexpectedly passed away. We, it was so unexpected, and it was really heartbreaking for the whole family. And I think even Mittens is pretty upset about it, because that was, like, it was her sister. Like, they were litter mates, twins, like, they looked exactly alike. Um, so I think it's been hard for her, because she's been, like, lonely, I guess, without her sister. And then... Up until, like, I came home, like, she had been home alone all day, and, like, before, Buttons would be home for her, and, like, they didn't get along all the time, but at least she had company, but, like, before I came back, she was just, like, home alone all the time, and I feel like it, she was just really upset. She always w runs around the house, she's, like, sniffing and meowing, looking for Buttons, because I don't know if she really realizes she's gone, so I just feel bad, but now that I'm home, like, we hang out, so that's good. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't really done much today, even though it's 11. I woke up at like 8.30, and I took photos of some dolls downstairs that I finished painting, and then I was working on that, and now I haven't even eaten. I'm hungry, so I'm probably gonna eat. I was gonna film a morning routine with Rory today, but I just wasn't really feeling up to it, because, I don't know, that's a lot of work. And I also like, it's already 11, so it's like late in the day. And yeah, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow, but maybe not because I have therapy tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I need to eat. So I need to have breakfast. My room is so messy, I don't want to show you guys. Everyone's always like, show room tour, show room tour. You guys. And also, sorry, I look really bad. I haven't showered today yet because it's, I don't know. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> yeah. For brunch, since it's 11, even though this is my breakfast, um, I'm making my specialty a bacon sandwich, microwave bacon, and toast. Uh, that's it. But yeah, it's delicious, so I'm making it. And I'm also probably gonna get coffee after because. Mmm. Okay, I just showered. Um, well, not just, but I'm ready to go. I'm going to. Target, because I need to get some things. I don't know, Target's like my go-to. I also need to get gas, but my outfit for today, this is like a vintage SeaWorld shirt. I was going to say I thrifted it, but I didn't. I just bought it from like 
a website that basically thrifts stuff and sells it. So yeah. And my pants are these like sweater pants from Abercrombie. And I have on these whoa white dunks. They're pretty cool. I wear a lot of dunks. And then I have this um mask, this maroon mask that like kind of matches the stripes on the SeaWorld shirt. So I'm gonna wear it because otherwise I'd wear grey. And I don't know, this is a little more fun. So we're gonna wear the maroon mask. Hello, it's Wednesday and I have my first therapy session in like eight minutes. Um, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday and yeah, but I woke up and my eye was like swollen shut this one and it looks um, better but still a little weird. So that's really fun for me. Whoa, I'm still a little sick, but I am nervous because I've never done this before. So yeah, my hair is curly. I showered, because I was like, maybe it'll fix my eye. It looked so bad when I woke up, I'm not even kidding. I like thought something was wrong with me. Well, there probably is, but who knows. So, I'm getting ready to do therapy. And I'm nervous, and my bed is so messy, and she's probably gonna see it in the background, but I don't really wanna make it. So, yeah. We'll see. I just got done with my first therapy session. Uh, I didn't realize they were only 45 minute sessions when I thought they were an hour, so that's a bit less intimidating. I was very nervous, and she knew that. She said that a lot of people are usually nervous. Um, but I actually really like her. She's very nice, so I'm looking forward to working with her. And yeah, so she made me feel pretty comfortable already, but um, yeah. It hopefully it won't be as nerve-wracking as time progresses, but now I am done. I don't have anything else planned for the day, so I'm probably just going to paint because that's usually what I do. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Um, it's 1.30 and I'm in bed. Um, it hasn't been a very good day. <laughs> Recovery is not easy. And I don't want to always just highlight the, like, show the good parts because it's really difficult to be doing this. And, you know, it's not an easy choice to have left school and just leaving everything. It's been really difficult and I'm really not having a good day. I've spent the whole day in bed pretty much. I did a little bit of work on dolls, but not really. Um, yeah. It just, I haven't really felt very good today. So, probably not gonna do very much. Um, yeah, mittens is coming in. But, that's kind of my day so far. Just kind of, yeah. Just trying to feel better, but it's not very easy. So, yeah, here's minutes. I like to lay in my bed with. Sorry, my stomach's grumbling because I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten today. These little lights on. It's just better lighting. It's softer and like that. Thing. So it's just softer lighting, and then I can still see, but it's dark. Usually, some of my coping mechanisms, I guess, for me, I usually watch TV or like a movie. Right now, I'm watching YouTube, um, or I'll listen to music and play Sudoku or Solitaire. I really love those games, especially Sudoku. Um, I play with like Putty. really like Putty. I played with Putty all during my therapy session yesterday. Um, sometimes I'll just hang out with the dolls, but I was just down there and it's really cold. And now I just want to be in my bed. But yeah. It's kind of my day. But, I don't know. I felt like I should record because if I want to be showing my recovery, I can't always show the good.
because it's not always good. So, these are my frogs. <laughs> this is Frogbert, and the pink one is Roberta, like Ribbit, Roberta. And I have two little frogs too, but uh, I think they fell off the bed. And I have the Mega Frog, but I didn't name him yet. But yeah, that's my day. I just had my second therapy session, it's Wednesday again, and um, I'm carrying these dolls because she asked to see my artwork this week, and she does know about my channel and about my dolls and stuff because obviously that's a big part of my life, so I shared that with her, and um, she asked to see some of my work, so I showed her these babies that I've made, and she said they were very realistic and that it's very cool and she likes them, so... Yeah, it was a pretty good session. I've had a pretty good week so far. Um, I'm going to a concert tonight. Um, but yeah, she was just kind of talking to me about what I should work on this week and tried out a new breathing technique. I was really nervous showing her my dolls. Um, I was like breathing really heavy. I'm like, I'm still a little shaken up right now, but I think it went pretty well. Um, but yeah, so. These three are all so cute. I love these babies. I have three babies for sale right now. This one, this one, and this one. But, um, yeah, I guess they haven't really had much interest, so kind of sad. And then this one's part of my personal collection, but I haven't really shared him anywhere besides my Instagram stories. So maybe I'll do a video with him soon because he's actually so cute and I kind of want to take him out with me. Um... Yeah, I'm about to change him because uh, bringing him upstairs made me realize how much I really like him, so, yeah. And then we have these little munchkins. They're so cute. I honestly really like all of them. Like, I could see myself keeping all of them. This one is the same kit as Caleb, my very first reborn, and so it makes me want to, like, have him because he just reminds me so much of Caleb. Um, because I kind of made him inspired by Caleb even though he looks quite different, but it's just like so nostalgic having him. And then this one's just so cute. <laughs> but yeah, those are my little boobies right now. And that's what I've been up to. Hi, I know I look a little crazy right now. Um, I didn't really like get ready for the day today. I went to a concert last night. I saw Tame Impala. It was really awesome. Um, yeah, really cool show. So the lights were insane. I was on the floor, like in the pit. It was amazing. Um, I like want to get lights like that for my room and apparently they're not like the same thing but there's like similar things on Amazon and like low-key I might get that for my room because I it's really therapeutic for me to just be like laying on my bed like at night especially when I'm winding down I turn off the lights and I have these like fairy lights that go above my bed and like a little thing I think I showed it in a different clip but like a thing next to my bed that's like a small lamp mittens broke that once and I bought a replacement one it's from Target but like mittens it's glass, so she knocked it off my desk once and it shattered. But yeah, I, I love having those on. It's like calm, like softer light to go to sleep to. Like I turn that on when it's like dark out and then I just want a little bit of like dim lighting. Love that for my room. But I feel like lasers, like not lasers, but like cool lights like that would be sick for my room. So like Loki, I might do that. I'm painting right now. I'm working on quite a few dolls. Um, I decided to open my customs again because I'm home and I have a lot of time and oh and it's Thursday by the way um, I went to the concert like after my therapy well, not right after but like the same day um, but I opened my customs because I have a lot more time now so I have a custom doll I'm working on but I'm also I ordered a Barbie <laughs> from Amazon on Tuesday and it's coming today Except it's like not here yet and I keep checking the tracking and like checking the porch to see if it's here because I'm like really excited about it and it's not here and it's like 4 and usually their mail comes around like 2 but it says it's coming between 3 and 5.30 so I'm really hoping it's coming soon because I don't know I'm really excited about it. I collect quite a bit of Barbies and like I have a dollhouse but I don't really do anything with them but I just like love collecting them and I don't know so I'm really excited for it. And yeah, and I kind of want to renovate my Barbie house, and I feel like that would be something very therapeutic for me to do. And like move it to a new location, because it's kind of in a closet right now, and it's really hard to access. So I kind of want to put it somewhere more in the open that I could access it better, because I feel like that'd be fun to renovate the Barbie house and make it sick. But yeah, I am expecting a Barbie today. Yeah, I love all kinds of dolls. 
But yeah, I'm just painting and I'm literally watching like Barbie house renovation videos because that's what I want to do so I'm like watching videos about that. I do that a lot like if I, especially when I was younger, if I was like expecting a reborn I would watch box opening videos of the same kit and just like stuff to get me excited, you know? So I'm like I just do that uh, with like everything so I'm watching videos and painting. Hey guys. It's Tuesday, and I have not been having a great day. Kind of just been in bed all day. Which sucks, because I had things that I was supposed to do today. Um, and I just couldn't do it. It's 2 in the afternoon. And i just been in bed. I did shower, because I was going to go do stuff, but then I don't know, something just like sent me over the edge, I don't really want to get into it, but just got very upset and lost all my motivation again, so yeah, but that's just like the reality of mental illness, you don't always have the energy and the like capacity to just do things every day, some days it's just enough work to get out of bed so yeah I have been painting quite a lot recently but and I was supposed to um, take photos today of the doll because I finished it yesterday and I was supposed to go shopping for it that's why I got ready I was supposed to go shopping and get outfits to send it home and all this stuff and I am no longer doing that and then I also have like other dolls that I'm painting, but I just, it's like I want to do those things, but I like physically don't want to do them. Like mentally I want to do it, I'm in my head like I want to be doing those things, but I don't physically want to be doing them. So it's just hard. I'm just exhausted. Like I'm not like physically tired, just like I'm socially tired and like, I don't know a lot my nails are so grown out they need to be changed so bad like when I shower the hair gets stuck under like this one because the nail is cracked and like it's like annoying and I need to get them fixed and like I don't really get like I don't do anything like I don't I don't fake tan I don't get my hair done like I don't do anything like that but I always get my nails done I always have my nails like looking nice that's like the one thing I do for myself and it's like it, it's like the only thing I do for myself because I think my nails are like my best quality like, these are my real nails and I have I have a lot of pride in my nails I just like I love having them done but I hate going to sit for like an hour hour and a half and having them done and it also is really hard when you have no idea what you want to get because like I keep my nails on for like a month at a time sometimes more because I'm just lazy. Like these have been on since before Valentine's Day and now it's almost April. So they've been on for a good while, at least a month. And like I want them to be done but it's hard because I just don't want to go and like spend an hour and a half. Like when I'm doing stuff like that, when I'm driving really long amounts of time or like sitting like getting my nails done, I just feel like I'm wasting my time because there's so many better things I could be doing with that time. Like I could be doing all this stuff and then I just get like frustrated and distracted because I like wasted that time basically even though it's not so yeah I should get my nails done I really do need to I have my third therapy session tomorrow um, yeah I've been filming this video for quite a while I don't know when I'm gonna stop filming it or I might post this one and then do like updates every once in a while I don't know but I feel like it's important to share, like, recovery and, like, the progress because it's what I'm going through and I don't want to just pretend like everything is fine and keep making my videos the way I had been because that's just not my reality and I don't want to be fake. So, yeah. But I don't know if I'll actually do anything today. We'll see. Hey, guys. It's Wednesday the 23rd. I just had my 
third therapy session and it went really great um she is really awesome like i really love my therapist which is great because you don't always get that lucky especially that you'll find someone that you really like and click with for your first therapist like i know a lot of people who have had to switch around therapists a lot of times because they just can't find one that they really connect with sorry i'm like out of breath because i just ran from downstairs to check out my camera but i'm having a pretty good day today so far it's decently nice out it's like it's really sunny but it's like in the 40s so it's kind of cold but it looks nice the mice are playing mittens is sleeping she joined me last time in the therapy session and she was climbing on the mouse cage climbing on my desk climbing on my bed and so she got to meet my therapist <laughs> but yeah so um, I'm having a pretty good day. She gave me some good things to work on, and one of them that she recommended I do is take a walk in nature, and so there's this place I used to go to over the summer a lot, especially when I was just, like, really needed to just step away from reality and, like, process my thoughts and stuff, and so I'm probably gonna go there at some point during this week. Maybe today if it's nice out, but it's like, I don't know. And then I posted a video today for the first time in like two months, and it was a box opening, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, just posted that like 20 minutes ago. I'm really proud of myself for getting that up. I actually have another video that I filmed last week that's also ready to go up, but I wanted to post the box opening first because that's a little more exciting, I feel like. Um, but I'm probably going to post the other one tomorrow, so two days in a row of posting. Who am I after like a three-month break? <laughs> anyway, um, and then I have this video too that I plan on posting soon because I don't know. Um, I don't know how how long I should be making this video for this I've been doing this little like vlog thing for like three weeks and I know it's not the most exciting but it's like I'm trying to just highlight like recovery you know so I think I'm gonna post it soon and probably do updates as needed but yeah I also um, bought a stroller today on Facebook marketplace um, I was just looking because, I mean, my stroller's fine, like, nothing's wrong with it, but I've always kind of wanted a bit of a more aesthetic one. Like, I've had mine for years, and it works fine, it's cute, but I wanted to get a more, like, aesthetically pleasing one, like a fancier one, I don't know. But I don't want to spend that much money on one because, in all reality, it's for dolls, and it's like, I don't need to spend so much money to get a fancy stroller for dolls. Um especially when like car seats like expire and stuff and so like I don't want to get one and then have it not even be usable for when I have real kids so like I was just like I'll just wait until I have real kids to get a new stroller but I was just looking on Facebook marketplace yesterday just to see what's out there and I found a really cute stroller and I accidentally messaged the lady like I don't know if you've used Facebook marketplace but like when you can it'll show the thing and it'll be like when I message them is this still available and then you can click yes and it'll do it and I accidentally hit that when I was trying to look at the post and so I was like, oh my god, should I unsend it? But I was like, mm. it was a really cute stroller, but it was a lot of money. But it like accidentally messaged her and she was like, yes. And then I offered her a little bit of a lower price. And she said she would take it if I can pick it up um, soon. And I said I could get it today, but she said they'll be home tomorrow. Can I, or tonight, can I get it tomorrow? So I'm getting a new stroller tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. Um, so I will be picking that up tomorrow. And I'm really excited, so I think that'll be fun. But yeah, um, that's where I'm at right now. I have some things I need to do today, but I don't know if they'll get done. We'll see. <laughs> hey guys, I have spent pretty much my entire day today cleaning my doll room. And first of all, it feels amazing to be cleaning it. But it's so much work, and sorry I look nasty, I'm literally still in my pajamas because I've been doing this all day. And it looks like nasty, well, it, sorry, it did. It still looks bad, but not nearly as bad. And also I got this stroller yesterday, but like, okay, 
it's gonna be so much better, but I'm, I basically cleaned most of this area. I'm gonna like rearrange stuff, obviously, but right now I'm using this main space to go through all of my baby clothes, because I'm gonna switch, the clothes in here are winter clothes, and now it's nice out, so it's gonna be, I'm putting the spring and summer clothes in, but I have so many clothes, so I'm going through and I'm gonna like pick out what clothes I need to like donate or like sell. That pile right there alone is just my toddler girl stuff. I still have to do six month girl, three month girl, newborn girl, preemie girl, and then toddler boy, three month boy, newborn boy, and preemie boy. Like it's so much. And like, so I, I'm going through, I first am taking out like this stuff, like I did, this is the winter girl toddler stuff that I wanna keep, but I can't put it in this bin until I get all this other stuff out. But then I have the spring stuff that I want to keep in the drawer. But then that's all like the spring and winter stuff that I don't want to keep. Like that is so much. And I have to do that with all of them. Because there's stuff I don't want from like spring and winter. So it's a lot of work. And it's like 4 o'clock. It's 4.22. I have been cleaning this basement probably since 11 today. I already had coffee today, but... I think I want more. I am pretty motivated to do this. I've been putting off cleaning this room for so long because I haven't had like the motivation to actually do it. Like I wanted it clean, but I didn't actually want to do it. And today I really had that motivation. So I started doing it and it's awesome, but I think I'm gonna go get coffee. And I'm so hungry. I like didn't really have breakfast, but then I had lunch at like two. And then now it's like four and I'm hungry again. I think I'm gonna get coffee and have a snack break and then come back and keep cleaning. But I feel like I have to get dressed if I'm gonna go get coffee because I don't think it's acceptable to go in my pajamas at 4.30. But, um, yeah. So, I'm pretty excited because my doll room is gonna be so clean. Because what I wanna do, I have, literally I have these giant bins of clothes and I'm probably gonna have to get more because I just, I don't know if I have enough space, but I have like Barbie stuff in that closet and I kind of want to take the Barbie house out and like put it here if it'll fit or like over there or something, but I want to take the Barbie house out and then I can put the bins of clothes in and it'll look so much better. So that's something I really want to do. Like I have my little Barbies like all set up and ready because they want to go in the house, but they can't because it's messy. And then here's the new stroller. Again, like everything is a mess because I'm cleaning it, but um... It's adorable. I bought this from a lady on Facebook Marketplace. This can flip so it can face the other way too, and there's like a bassinet, but I probably won't use that much. But I love this, and then it can also like lay down if you want the baby to like sleep. But I'll mostly probably use it like this, and I wanna bring it with me to the Rose Doll Show. This part comes off like, it's a really awesome stroller. It's, it's never been used. They got it for their baby, but then they were like gifted another one that they used instead, so this has never been used. And normally it's like $430 and I got it for $250, which is pretty good, I think, considering it's brand new. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I want to do a video with Mateo in it because it's really cute. He looks adorable in it. Um, I need to figure out how to adjust the straps better, though, because it was like kind of tight on him. But he also had a big thick coat on. But I love it. It's so cute. I want to take it out for walks and I just, I love it. So I'm focusing on <laughs> cleaning my dollar right now, but it literally, it makes me so happy because it looks so much better. I know it still looks bad guys, but like it was so embarrassing before. Like I didn't even want to show my doll room because of how embarrassing it looked. So yeah. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. The past two days I've kind of spent some time focusing on myself. Um, during the past couple weeks, I've spent a lot of time like away from my home and like not being here and staying at a friend's house and just like doing things with them like constantly and it was just a lot socially and like mentally like draining just to like it like drained my social battery, you know, like just being out. Sorry, I'm painting just being out so much and like I love spending that time, but I also need time to like refresh and just be by myself so um like we hang out pretty much every day but I've been um I spent the past two days at home alone well not like alone but like without them and so it's been good for me I spent a, like I had a pretty bad breakdown yesterday last night and I did not film it but it was not very fun but 
I got my nails done today and I feel really good because it's like a little fun self-care thing I could do for myself and yeah I will show you better but I have my fourth therapy appointment tomorrow and yeah so I I keep saying I'm gonna post this and then I don't because I'm kind of nervous to post this like this video it's so raw and like so open and that's just really scary to share but I think it's important and I am gonna share it I just don't know when I, I need to do it soon so yeah let me show you my nails <laughs> look how cute I did a TikTok about my nails because I I like to post nail TikToks and they usually do pretty good I don't know why everyone on TikTok like loves when I do nail videos so I usually just share them over there but I think they look really cute Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Um, it's been like two hours since I had my therapy, but I had my fourth therapy session today. And yeah, so now it's two o'clock and I do it at 11.45, so it's been about two hours. But um, I have just been like painting and doing stuff down here. My heater is on, if that's what you hear, because it's freezing down here. Um, so I have this going. Warms me up and it feels really nice. I like to stand in front of it. Um, but yeah, so I'll step away for the sound, but we had a really good session today. I've been pretty happy the past couple days, so um, Yeah, I was talking to her about going to the Rose doll show this Upcoming summer and she was saying that it's really great and she could just see how excited I was Just talking about it and getting to go there and just have a good time like spending time with the hobby and with like my doll friends and everything so I'm really excited about that, and then we had a pretty good session. Um, one thing I didn't mention is on Sunday, this past Sunday night, um, one of my mice passed away, Coco. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned them in this video, I think I did at the beginning. But I had three mice, Coco, ZD, and Mitzi, and Coco passed away, so now it's just ZD and Mitzi. Um, and she was asking if I was looking to get a new mouse, and that's definitely something I'm considering. Um, not that I want to like replace my pets, but mice do really well, like female mice do really well in a little community and I feel bad when they lose a little member of their community and I never want the mice to be alone because I had a point where Pipsqueak was by herself for a little bit and she was like really sad without any companions so I never want that to happen to my mice. So I try and keep around three in the cage at a time. Um, I went to Petco yesterday and looked at some mice. There was a cute little gray one that I looked at, but I didn't totally fall in love, so I might go to a different pet store at some point and check it out, um, what their mice situation looks like, but um, yeah, I just feel bad when they don't have all their little companions, and I'm sure they're upset that they lost their, they're not really sisters, but I call them their sister. Um, but yeah, so Coco, Coco passed away, I'm really sad about it. But yeah, that's my day. So I'm actually like about to leave right now, but I just had my fifth ther ugh, therapy session. And so it's been going good. I had a really good past week and she was like very proud of everything that I had to share. And yeah, so I've been feeling very good about my recovery recently. And yeah, I will talk more, but I have got to go. Hi, it's Thursday. Yesterday was my fifth therapy and I didn't do a video after because I was like busy right after. But, so I've done therapy for five weeks now and I've been home for like just under two months. Like it's been almost two months that I've been home and like out of school and I feel great. I don't have therapy next week because she is going on vacation so we're just not doing it so I think this is where I'm gonna end my video at five weeks and yeah but this has just been a big like journey for me and just a really good experience don't mind how messy this background is um but like I've just been having a lot of fun exploring myself and just taking the time that I need to heal and just like recover and just like do what's best for me and this really is what's best for me I have felt so great about my decision I don't regret it at all 
and I'm just happy to be home and be doing what I'm doing. I've spent a lot more time just focusing on myself and my needs and that's exactly what I needed for myself. And I've been doing a lot of painting and so that's been really good for me as well. I've just been doing things that make me happy and so I'm just, I'm just glad that things have been working out for me. And I really hope to be doing more videos for you guys because, like I said, I am home, so I will be able to do that stuff. I've been trying to, um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to post a lot more consistently. I know a lot of people thought I quit YouTube or, like, just quit the dolls because I hadn't been posting, but the reality was I was in school, but also I was just so... I was in a very bad place, and it wasn't... I wasn't really able to put out content like happily and authentically and I didn't want to put out anything that I wasn't happy with so yeah but I really thought it was important to do this like life update like this like I'm like in recovery like I'm on like a journey of self healing I guess and that's where I'm at that's what I'm gonna be doing for the time being but I'm also gonna try and get my work done like doing painting I've been doing a lot more painting I opened customs I've already done a few customs like completed mailed out um, I'm just really happy with what I've been doing with myself and just the time so yeah hopefully you guys um, understand that I have been like doing all this and I hope you don't you aren't upset that I hadn't been posting for a while but I will be posting again hopefully a lot <laughs> and yeah that's where I'm at, that's my update, and that's this video, so thanks for watching. Um, I post on Instagram, at KellyMapleYT, a lot, mostly on my story, but I post there, and also on my painting account, Little Mouse Nursery, I'm, like I said, I'm taking customs, so if you're interested in that, and then also I have dolls that I already made that are available for sale, so go there if you're interested in my work, or don't, and yeah, but that's all. Thank you guys. Bye.